So last night we stayed on an air about two hours north of Paris and it's a sad day today. Very sad day. We're heading back to the UK. <laughs> <laughs> Although, um, I've just found out there's a pre-mark at Calais. <laughs> I've never seen her get out of bed and get ready so bloody fast in my life. <laughs> it's true that. <laughs> yeah, it was. I was like, well, okay, fine, I can go a day early, that's fine. So basically, we're going back. We've got some emergency repairs on the van to do. As you've seen, the sink is out of operation. Our electric point on the outside has snapped off, so... We've had quite a few things go wrong, actually, with the van since we got to France. Yeah, we? so we there's... Had a, sorry. Yeah. yeah, so there's some emergency repairs they're going to do Friday and they're going to look at the other jobs and then it'll be booked back in then to get the other jobs done. Yeah, so we're a bit gutted. There's some things we would have liked to have seen in France this time around and just haven't got round to it. So yeah. we are coming back. Hey, we were out during a month, you know. I know, we still didn't see it. He bypassed everything. I would be like, oh, you've gone too far. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, love, is three minutes out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I don't wanna stay here, no Ain't gonna keep it low now If you wanna go, let's go Let's wrap it up and hit the road I just got an awesome vibe Striking the wind of hopes now Liberty's on my mind We've taken off with like the ground You You gotta understand That we get one one chance, one chance You, you will never regret The things that we'll do Cause I, I, I Wanna drive through the summer night And when we, we, we Are old and grey We'll look back at this The summer night So now we wait How long are we on? It's only half hour, isn't it? Half hour. So I've just had a sarni. Got me Pringles. <laughs> Got me some French chocolate. But we are totally looking forward to some good old British food. Fry we have missed you. Fry up in it, that's what we're after. Fry up, yeah. yeah. Bacon, sausage, and real bread. The French, right? Spaghetti, they got down to a tea. But when it comes to bread, British got it made. Well, their bread's half the size of ours, that's what the problem yeah. is. Cause I Yeah, in fact, I'm just going to get the man butt on this because, no. come on, this is when it's comedy gold. Come on, come on, let's, let's tell everybody our troubles. <laughs> 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 so we successfully did the Euro Tunnel. We got through that an hour earlier than expected, didn't we? Yeah. We then made it to Folkestone and we went to go on the campsite that we were on on the way out. But after 45 quid, we were like, well, it was 45 quid, wasn't it? Yeah, so I checked, there was space there, but I didn't check the price. We were there a few weeks ago and it's gone up. So I think campsites prices have gone just ridiculous. Uh, I know I say that on the back of coming back from France where we were paying an average of, you know, say 10 euros a night and you're getting your water, your electric. And I know it's just a car park. Sometimes you, you know, you would get your toilets and showers included in that, but, 45 pound I was like nope our principal I'm not stopping there so we were just looking around the area and the prices I was seeing were just phenomenal Do 100 it. pound one of them 80 pound another one 55 you know they were all closer to the 100 pound mark and I was like I could go and stay the bloody Hilton for less than that do you want 100 quid for me to camp in my motorhome in your field like I know electric's gone up and I just think now the last two years of lockdowns and how busy and popular these campsites have got, I think a lot of them are going to get stung this year because, you know, the normal people are going to go back on their summer holidays. I mean, we've been doing this, what, five, six years, right? <laughs> yeah? But we have, yeah? Oh, uh, yeah. 
and you know I remember God, you've seen 30 quid that was expensive yeah and we decided we were gonna chance it we were gonna go and look at some Brit stops didn't we well yeah so, so I we're found... heading towards <laughs> Pool where the dealer is because we got to be there for Friday so it's like well we'll just head in that general direction yeah there's loads of Brit stops and that on the way in it we'll, we'll find somewhere yeah First, how many <laughs> five 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 Brit stops later so it was three Brit stops yep and two CL site the three Brit stops that shouldn't even be in the book <laughs> <laughs> no, you wouldn't don't. put you you wouldn't put your car there to camp. No, but that's my again my opinion. Then we got stuck up two lanes. You had to reverse down two lanes. Yeah, one was closed down, even though showing is open. And then the last one we got there it was like, oh, we could see people in there, right? It was this big field. Two mo two caravans or motorhomes, wherever they were, were in there, right? And yeah. it was a good minimum eight pitches, I would have said. So I rings. Uh, oh, we're full. Yeah, it stood outside and you can see the spaces so obviously somebody's booked on there and not turned up yet morning guys so after last night's stress and trying to find somewhere to stay we ended up on a lovely little campsite and i'll just show you it it's basically just a field yes so we've had a good night's sleep, we've de-stressed, um, we've found, obviously we've got to go to Solent now Friday, so we're going to book back on to Sanford Holiday Park. Um, that's the first site that we ever stayed on when we picked up our motorhome, so the kids have been nagging and nagging to go back. They've got swimming pools there, evening entertainment all the sort of stuff that you would expect on a proper holiday park. We go in there, A, because it's super, super cheap. It's like 20 quid a night. And the kids have been nagging us for ages to go back. So we thought, you know what? We've got so much washing to do. We were super stressed last night and yesterday. So we were like, look, we've just hit the UK. It's a bit of a culture shock after being in France and Spain. And we just want to do some shopping. We want to do some chilling. I need to wash my hair. Look at the state on that so yeah it's just a really good catch up and obviously we've got to go to Solent for these repairs on the van so we're really close to it we can treat the kids to the beach as well so yeah we're just gonna have a four days chill sesh now i think we um i think we just need to kind of have a bit of a relax a refresh and um, get the van repairs done so hopefully now over the next few days things are going to look a little bit brighter for us the good news is the sun's out um you know and that lifts everyone's spirit so fingers crossed now everything gets done and we can move forward with our little travel plans because uh, we've got some things up our sleeve we've got some shows we want to do and we just want to get to them without any worries so that's us that's our little update we'll see you in a bit there he is doing his man but duties was it blue something blue versus pink blue duties blue something Blue and pink. Blue job, that's it. Blue job. <laughs> Depending on the accent. <laughs> Blue job. <laughs> so what's happening this morning, love? You want to I'll give you the opportunity to tell everybody our exciting news. What are we doing this morning? Well, the first good news is the water leak on the sink is fixed and they've also fixed the electric point. Whoop, 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 whoop. Job done. Um, what was it though? So on the sink, it wasn't actually the plug on the sink. There was a hairline crack in the trap. Which could have been there for ages, couldn't it? Who knows? They said, oh, it'd have been cold. But I'm like, well, for the last five weeks, it's been at least 20 degrees in our van. Yeah. So who knows? who knows? But it's sorted. That's all that matters. But today... Dun, dun, dun. I'll come round for this because this also involves me, doesn't it? Because we've got a nasty habit. Oops. We've got a nasty habit of running out of something. Do we? I think you know. I think they know. Gas. <laughs> <laughs> so finally, finally, after all the hoo-ha in France and Spain, where we've had to purchase La Cube, we've had to get different um, connections, uh, the amount of times we've run out of gas bottles in the UK, not been able to get hold of any in Folkestone before we left. The list goes on and on and on, doesn't it? But today, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we are having a gas system fitted whoop into whoop. the van. It was an absolute must, wasn't it? Yeah. So 
we may not be able to record it when it's being fitted because some people don't like being recorded so we figured we'd let you know this morning and then we'll show you the results later on yeah let that be the end of our gas <laughs> gas troubles hopefully but um yeah i'm really excited about it it is a little bit of an ex outlay expense um that we don't really want to spend but i figured and you figured didn't you sorry we figured that um you know overall it's gonna sort of sat you need to add me with the electric cable then i nearly went flying um Was so this is plan all along that's really not nice <laughs> look at that face <laughs> to be fair i'm probably worth more on the life insurance than i am alive and i <laughs> oh yeah well i don't know i mean i'd have to buy a dishwasher a cook chef no i disagree with you there about that's nice now sees me for the chore lady Cinderella I should be called <laughs> we've only driven 16 miles out the way because two of them are out of order and this one's out of order I have a feeling this is going to be our next big bother and I bet there's Carla gas so we need to find another one then on your app yeah. so daft question now right if we can't get gas low can we put the Carla back in Technically, yes. Obviously, that's not what you want to do when you've just blown 700 quid on no, getting it fitted. the next one's about 40 miles away. I'm going to do this one because it's actually back towards where we are and then a bit past it. But so we've just pulled up at this one. We've just driven over an hour. I can see it now, look. Number up top, number nine, LPG. Oh, cool. We did phone ahead. The guy did say he had some here, so. Yeah, it was a 40 mile drive. So we was like, rather than do a 40 mile trip this time, we used our brains and we made a phone call. Whee! <laughs> yeah. Woo! I don't know, I'm an absolute noob. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Look how shiny and new they are. Right, I know I got to stick that in there. Yeah. And twist. Righty tighty. Let's pressurize in. You said that would happen. So they pressurize in, and when it's finished pressurizing, I then press this button to fill up. Hey. So I'm told. Our nice, shiny new gas low system. Two big bottles in there. It's exciting stuff. Right. Can we fill in? What, as simple as that? Simple as that. And they just go in, do they do both at the same time? Yes, it'll fill both of them. Oh, cool. Oh, do you know when they're full? This will stop automatically. Or this goes bang. Oh, it won't go bang. One or the other. <laughs> So what's the know. gauges? Oh yeah. So you can see, it's filling the right one a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't we do this sooner? Because you're tight. You didn't want to spend the money, you didn't see the value in it until we ended up going all over the country, running out of gas. Yeah several times yeah so well we, happy with that yeah we're resolving this problem once and for all <laughs> yeah guy said yeah it'll be about 25 quid for the first fill that's not bad though we used to pay that for one little 6k bottle for gas didn't we before yeah and you've got two big whoppers in there oh yeah we ain't about to run out of gas though they're still going. <laughs> Bloody hell, how much gas is going in here? 31 litres. You've got to put it on properly now, haven't you? It's not just seeping into the air. Love, if 30 litres is coming out of that, you would have seen that. <laughs> I'd say that's full, judging by that sound. Job done. Oh! Is it supposed to do that? <laughs> <laughs> Two full bottles sitting, sitting in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> and if one of those bottles becomes half full, then back to the station to fill him up again. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> I know. 
so my first win being back in the UK is that I got to go to B&M and what girl or guys don't like B&M it's amazing so I've seen Mazzy using one of these and I think this is going to be a game changer for us I'm really excited to give it a try so I'm gonna cook the kids some sausages and some chips in this in a bit and I'm hoping I'm not gonna muck it up. The grill and the oven on these vans are good, but what I find I struggle with is trying to cook one more than one thing at a time. It's really difficult because you only get one shelf inside them. So as you can see, there's one shelf. So usually what I need to do is um, I'll put one like chips or chicken nuggets on the top there. And then on the bottom I cook stuff, but then that just burns. And then I constantly have to re-rotate things and it just doesn't work and I've got a nasty habit of burning myself so I've got a nice little burnie by there so finally caved in bought this I think it was about 50 quid um yeah so I'm super excited I'm gonna give this a smash now so I think this is the right one you just oh yeah 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 yeah. look at that so you shove your bits in there and you've got your doobie firkins there oh, I'm excited to try this now yeah so we, we did get a bag of chips just to whack in, just to give it a go. So yeah, fair play. So yeah, we'll let you know how that, how we get on with that one. What do I do now with the fish fingers? No, I'll just put them in place, it'll take longer. There you go. And it's off. We have got another problem that we need to talk about, which uh. is the floor. Um, now, when we went to look at it, we thought, oh, it would just be a quick and easy job. Um, it turns out now there's like one of three options. And to be honest with you, neither of these options are particularly that great. But I'm gonna pass you over to the man, but to explain it, because to be honest with you, I've just lost the plot with it a little bit. Right, okay. So got the length of the floor and across the floor, you've got joists or cross members that go from side to side of the van right the way across and they're spread out about every 500 mil problem we've got is that between these joists the floor is sinking and getting soft uh, so it's not quite delamination uh, but definitely shouldn't be sinking so we've been to the dealer and we've spoken to various people and a subscriber actually and it looks like we're going to be landed with one of three options and as Charles said no one option is really good so the first option and this is what it really needs is the floor actually needs replacing but for that to happen it's got to go back to Italy we're going to be without it for about nine months um, so I'm sure as you can imagine that's not a very good option for us especially as we are currently living in it but for it to be done properly that is what needs to happen so that's the option that I want and I'm hoping that that can maybe be agreed with a loan van or something. Option two is to have the floor injected with the resin, whatever it is they inject it with. But firstly, it's, you know, it's a repair on a job that is going to ultimately weaken the floor because to do that they need to drill holes underneath about every hundred mil apart so it's going to look like a game of battleships <laughs> underneath the van where they're injecting this red resin and then they put these rubber bungs in the second issue with that is that when they do that kind of injection you'll, your floor will never be the same again you will not have a perfectly flat straight floor it will be wavy you know to what degree as to how good the person doing it is but it's never gonna be the same again. So for me, that's not an option. The third option, which someone has told us about, we're in a very similar situation, but a bit further down the line, we're trying to get it resolved, is they were offered some financial compensation and signing a legal document to say, basically the warranty on your floor is now void, or they would buy the van back off him at the price in which they paid for it. Now, obviously, we bought this van last year. This year's model is it's gone up by about 18 grand. So that's not really an option for us either. So the only option for us, as far as I'm or we're concerned, is to have the floor needs replacing, but we want a brand new floor put down. But to be without the van for sort of nine months is what we're being told. Uh, obviously, at this stage, I will also note that 
we've only reported it at this stage we've been told it's got to go to auto trail in the uk and it goes from there so i'm only talking about what you guys or other people we've spoken to have already been through or what my dealer has told me um, so for this to be a pin said nine months is a, a super long time my concerns are obviously a that we have no van for nine months so that's nearly a year um, b the fact you lose the van for a year it's depreciating in value because it's technically getting older even though it's not being used it's still depreciating in value we'll keep you updated on it because i'm both nervous and scared really because say if we've got to lose this van for nine months where do we go what where do, we do? do we go you know we could potentially buy I wouldn't buy another new one I could buy a second hand one um, a cheaper one uh, we could use that for the time but again until we speak to them and we see what the options are but we'll let you know but it's it's a big issue to be honest and that's why we've put the carpet down because I'm hoping that the sort the sponginess within the carpet is going to deaden people walking over it so it's going to take some of that brunt out of it so making the floor worse and also you know we can feel it under our feet that's how bad it is so we're hoping the carpet's going to eliminate that I'm, I ain't got a look at it but yeah Charles not too happy